get kidney disease at any time, at any age. And kidney disease cannot give any symptoms in early disease. So, but if uh, someone have diabetes or hypertension, uh, is uh, on risk of kidney disease. And uh, if they have family history about kidney disease, uh, they are at uh, risk. Uh, two main causes of kidney disease are hypertension and diabetes, but uh, the others are uh, kidney stone disease, glomerulonephritis, chronic infections, ur urinary infections, uh, and uh, the other kind of obstructive urinary disease like uh, prostate uh, enlargement or kidney stones uh, can cause uh, kidney failure. Uh, if we have uh, obesity or overweight, we have to lose our weight and we have to limit our salt rest uh, consumption uh, in our diet. Also, uh, we have to drink more water uh, and less uh, protein uh, intake. Uh, and we have to check our routine labs uh, yearly. One healthy kidney is enough for life. Uh, so one kidney, if one kidney is removed, the other is uh, compensate uh, and increase in capacity. Uh, so one kidney, uh, one healthy kidney uh, is enough for life. Kidney disease can be divided into two groups, heredity or acquired kidney disease. Uh, acquired are the, we, we see mostly acquired one. And hereditary kidney disease uh, are a few diseases. We can say uh, polycystic kidney disease and Alport syndrome is the most important one. Uh, they are not uh, all hereditary. It depends on uh, your ABO blood group and your antibody level, antibody titers uh, in your blood and also uh, the country that you uh, stay. And in the United States uh, you can wait maybe five years, but uh, in Turkey uh, 10 or 15 years is the uh, average waiting time for um, kidney transplant. A donated kidney uh, is placed in your uh, lower belly, lower abdomen, and uh, then connected your own vessels and your own bladder, and that's it. Uh, and your own kidneys, native kidneys, uh, generally uh, are not uh, removed. It depends on mostly recipient and uh, donor factors. If living donor is used, uh, our expectation is uh, longer. Uh, in general, 15 to 20 years uh, expect, expectation of uh, transplant. After operation, uh, kidney start working immediately and after one week, patients uh, generally uh, leave the hospital. Uh, when they go home, we want, to, we want them to drink uh, too much water and uh, they, they should uh, uh, prevent uh, them from infections, they they have they have to wash wash their hands uh, more and routinely, uh, and uh, they they should not connect with uh, some ill people, uh, and they don't uh, close to them uh, very close to them. Uh, 
and they sh should uh, take their uh, drugs, their medicine for immun immunosuppression uh, therapy uh, routinely uh, and exactly. And uh, in first three months, uh, less sugar, less salt uh, is important for their diet. Since you were not born with uh, your transplanted kidney, so uh, it is foreign one and uh, but it always knows uh, this uh, because of uh, that uh, because of this we use uh, always some immunosuppression medications if someone don't take these medications uh, routinely or at exact time the body uh, knows this organ uh, is harmful for uh, you and uh, start fight uh, to them and it means rejection. Living donors are divided into two groups, uh, living related or living non-related group uh, one. Uh, living related uh, are always their family members but Living unrelated is almost always uh, emotionally related uh, ones. Uh, some uh, friends or spouses uh, is like that. Uh, and it is possible uh, to give uh, someone uh, your kidney, uh, not uh, related, but emotionally related. You have to be an emotionally related. One kidney is enough, uh, one healthy kidney is enough uh, for life, enough for normal life uh, for donor. Uh, but he or she uh, has to uh, drink more water and, uh, and less salt uh, consumption in their diet. Uh, so sometimes blood pressure uh, will rise uh, and uh, Sometimes proteinuria we can see in urine, uh, so we, we have to prevent them.